Hey guys, it's Kayla and I'm back with another video. Today we are starting off a weekend in my life vlog. We're getting a very late start to our Saturday. It is currently 2.25, but we are heading out and going to the beach, so I thought I would vlog that. And tomorrow we are doing something very exciting, which is touring our first wedding venue, finally getting our crap together and starting to plan a wedding. So we're gonna tour our first venue tomorrow, and I thought I would take you along as we do that and just this whole weekend. Really, I've not done anything exciting so far today I finished editing my video this morning and uploaded that because I didn't have time to finish it up yesterday but I got my video up um, I did a little bit of reading and mostly just chilling and doing nothing <laughs> just having a lazy Saturday so far but now we are gonna go out and go to the beach we are going to Coronado which I have not ever actually sat on that beach I don't think I've been to Coronado and like walked around Coronado but I don't know if I've ever gone to the beach there so that's what we're doing today I need to grab sunglasses finish packing up my bag and then we're going to head out if you're new to my channel. Hi, my name is Kayla. I'm a social media manager and personal assistant for indie romance authors. This is my life here on YouTube and this is going to be a fun little weekend vlog. Okay, I'm going to pack my stuff up and we are going to head out. This that jam that you bumping in the car on the radio. Friends so disgusted, wonder how the hell they play it. Then secretly, you know they're gonna save it to their playlist. Dance to it alone and claim they hate it. Later be the one to say I like when they were nameless. Like I was listening before they were famous. Ain't it funny all the years you gotta put into the struggle and it's just so you can try to entertain us. Waiting for them summertime sick. Radio hits when we bounce with our friends like this. Hit the beach with the sun on our back and the tunes all lit. Grateful to this how we live. Hello vlog, we got back a while ago from the beach we were there for a few hours and it was pretty nice just did some reading chilled hung out and it started getting a little chilly so we came home then i showered because my hair was disgusting so showered and then i've just been scrolling on tiktok for like an hour or two which i really need to stop scrolling on tiktok endlessly because i feel like it's just melting my brain so we're going to try and do something else now it's eight o'clock right now but i'm a little bit hungry didn't really eat dinner i had a burrito at like two o'clock so i'm not super hungry but i also need something to eat i think i might just make some buttered pasta that honestly sounds really good even though i I normally don't eat this late. I'm very hungry. So I'm gonna make something. Probably listen to an audiobook. I really want to start Shattered Sea by Catherine Cowles, which is book four in the Tattered and Torn series. I listened to books one through three in like the last week and I really want to read book four and then book five comes out later this month and I'm really excited about it. I thought there were six books in the series so I am sad that there's only five but at least I have another two to get through. So I'm gonna turn on that audiobook, go make some pasta, and then probably just chill and do some more reading after that. Just a very chill Saturday. I honestly did just about absolutely nothing. At least I did get my video up this morning. But tomorrow is going to have to be a little bit more of a productive day. I have some more things I want to get done just to make my work week a little bit easier. We have the venue tour in the morning. I think it's at 9.15. So we have to get up early and kind of get our day going. So hopefully when we come back from that, I will be motivated and can get some stuff done. But we're just going to call today a very lazy Saturday. So I'm going to go make something to eat and then chill and do some reading. Hear it at a festival, play it in the car at a party, show your friends, it's the best of all. Get the old score, not the way, you know what's getting played. It's a play, I spin every day, and they made a radio song. It's 11.15 right now, and I've been snuggled up in bed for the last little bit reading since I made pasta for dinner. I'm currently reading Shattered Sea by Katherine Cowles. I started this as an audiobook this morning because I got the whole series during the Audible sale, and I listened to the first three last week, so I started this one and then I actually won her giveaway for this book and it came in the mail today. So I decided to listen to it and read along in the book as it played, if that makes sense. I just was feeling a little too lazy to read like an actual book, but also it's really easy to get distracted with the audiobook playing if I'm like not doing a specific task. So I thought I would just chill and listen to it as I read along in the book and I actually really liked that. And I just got to page 150 in the book, which is halfway. So I think I'm going to stop here for the night. I haven't decided if I'm gonna go to bed right now or keep reading something else, I'm not feeling that tired. But also we have to be up and out of the house pretty early to go to the venue tour. So I probably should go to bed, but I might do a little bit more reading, but I'm going to switch my book because I hit the 50% mark and I figured this would just be a good stopping point for today. I think if I get sucked in anymore, I will just end up finishing the book and I really should go to sleep. I think I have like an hour and a half left in the audiobook listening to it on three times speed, which I can do while I'm reading along in the book. So I'm planning to finish that up tomorrow, but for now I'm gonna find an ebook
book to read I have like so many different books I want to and need to read this month so I need to pick something and start that and then we will go to bed in a little bit and wake up early and go to the venue tour I have so much anxiety when it comes to planning a wedding I just have a lot of anxiety in life in general and wedding planning just seems very stressful which is why we've slightly put it off for a little bit but also i'm really excited to get started on it and tour this venue it's really pretty so we'll see how it goes i'm gonna stop talking now and read and then go to bed so i'll talk to you tomorrow good morning vlog i am very very tired i definitely stayed up too late last night but it is currently 8 15 and we're about to head out to go to our venue tour well we're gonna stop and get coffee on the way but then we're gonna go to our venue tour i don't know why i'm so anxious about it i just don't like talking to people honestly that i don't know and like having to answer questions when we don't really fully know what we want yet just gives me anxiety so we'll see how it goes it is a really pretty venue i feel like the only kind of cons are it's a little bit farther than we would have liked it's just like more north county ish which like a lot of our friends and family have to fly in anyways and then to drive um it would be nice to have something a little bit closer but if it's the right price and the venue is really nice then we'd consider it so we just have to see how it is and then the other thing is it's only wine and beer so no liquor those are like the, just the two kind of cons in my head but we'll see when we get there because it is really pretty and it'll be nice to be kind of like out of the way like there's enough parking and things because a lot of the other venues that we've seen are like downtown which doesn't doesn't have any parking we'll see how it goes i'll let you know how we like it i'll try and film a little bit but i don't want to be like weird and annoying so we'll see how it goes but i'm hungry i need coffee so let's go head out head to starbucks and then go to our venue tour after that not really sure what we're gonna get up to probably just watch football for most of the day i do want to try and get some work done today and i would like to film a video but i might push that off till tomorrow we'll see what we end up doing later but i do want to get at least a little bit of stuff done i need to be productive today I would rather just get some stuff done today instead of being like stressed throughout the work week. So we're gonna try and be productive when we get back later, but for now, let's head out. We'll sing along when we hear it on. They made a radio song. No one that will sing along, we'll sing along. Hello guys, we got home a little while ago from our venue tour. Overall, we liked it. I don't know if it's like the most perfect choice, but it is pretty nice. The venue itself is really pretty and like a very simple kind of minimal design. So you don't really need a lot of decor because it already has some like natural accent pieces which is nice. The kind of two cons we figured out while we were there, one, beer and wine. Um, they just only have like a certain selection provided the day of. You don't really know what you're gonna get. They said there is like a variety that they provide, but you don't really know what's going to be on tap or what's gonna be like available that day. I don't mind only wine and beer, but it is a little difficult to like not know what's gonna be available. Even if they do say there's gonna be a variety, you just never know. And then the other thing is just everything takes place in like the one main room. So you can't really do like a separate ceremony and then reception it all just takes place in the main room and there is kind of like an off area where you could do like a cocktail area and a little bit of a patio um but nothing too huge so you just kind of have to deal with being all in one space and that means you pretty much have to do photos beforehand and if you want to go somewhere else to do photos or take photos in that space it all kind of has to be done there um otherwise there's nowhere to do it but again the space itself is really pretty you don't need a lot of extra things to um decorate it which is nice and they have tables and chairs provided I forget what else but the space is really nice we're definitely gonna tour a few more places we did place holds on some dates so we'll get notified by them if those dates are like gonna get booked but I do think we'll have a little bit of time to tour other places and decide for sure overall I liked it um, but I'd like to see a few more spaces that is how the venue tour went now we're back home and I really need to do something productive I'm not really in the mood to film as much as I should get my video done I think it's Thursday's video as much as I should get it done I'm just not feeling it so I might put filming off until tomorrow but I do need to get something else done if I'm not gonna do that I might edit a different video I think that's Saturday's video or just get some other work done I need to do something productive whether it's YouTube or PA work or stuff for the last chapter I need to do something I don't know what that car is doing it's very loud but that is my plan I need to do something productive I haven't decided what yet maybe I'll go work on the couch and watch football too we'll see but um, I'm gonna try and do something productive and enjoy the Sunday. Peace out.
Hot. It's that jam that you bump all night. Man, you must have heard it like a thousand times. Tweaking little bits till you get it right and right and right in on bites until you live the life of your dreams. But it's Hello guys, it's a little bit before two right now and I just finished editing my video. That video is edited for Saturday and I just finished scheduling my video for Tuesday. So we have Tuesday's video completely done and Saturday's video is edited. Tomorrow I'm going to film Thursday's video and I'll probably edit that on Tuesday. I'm trying to get myself ahead so I don't have to be like doing YouTube stuff every day or like an extensive amount of YouTube stuff. I'm trying to get to the point where I can just like do a little bit every day and stay ahead. So we're working on that and it's going pretty well. Hopefully tomorrow we can film that video, get ahead and be all good to go this week for YouTube. I just posted a TikTok for one of my authors. I have one more to post for today and I would really like to finish making my ones for tomorrow. I have about half of them done. I did a lot of them on Friday, but I do have a few more that I should just make tonight It will make my life so much easier tomorrow and the rest of the week because then I can just continue to stay ahead But I don't want to do that right now So we'll work on those tiktoks a little bit later I think right now i'm going to chill for a little bit and read I also need to do some scheduling for the last chapter But i'm waiting for some things from amanda so I can't fully work on that I think i'm just going to chill and read right now. I want to finish reading shattered sea by katherine cows I think I have like an hour and a half left if i'm listening to the audiobook. I think I'm going to listen to it and follow along in the paperback because I really liked doing that yesterday. I think I'm going to go back in the living room because right now we have no sheets on our bed because we are washing them. So I'll probably just go sit and read in the living room while we're watching football. Having a pretty good Sunday so far. I'm glad I got that video done. It will make my life so much easier this week and I just want to get myself set up for a great week ahead and not be as stressed. But yeah, I'm going to chill for a little bit and then we will be a little bit more productive later on in the day. Ain't easy. Break up the scene, living life so freely all you want to do is make the top so you put in the lot and just hope they good evening vlog it is 6 p.m and we're having a good sunday i feel like that's how i signed off the last clip where i was talking but it really has i finished the book that i was reading shattered sea by Catherine cows i almost threw this book across the room when i got to a certain part but it's really good i am not looking forward to reading the last book and being done with the series i know it's gonna be good but i'm gonna be really sad when the series is over so i recommend but also I am not okay that it's gonna be done so I finished that and then I just came and plugged my computer in because it was dead and I worked on some captions and posts for the last chapter so all those posts are ready to go for the week so I don't have to think about it until next Sunday I really should work on my TikToks for tomorrow but I really don't want to right now I think I'm going to go sit on the couch and watch the Sunday night football game and do some more reading I don't really know what book I'm going to start next I'm really trying to be good about sticking to my TBR, but I'm not sure what on my TBR to start reading. So many of the books that I want and need to read in October are ARCs and they just are later in the month because that's when all the new releases are. So I need to get through books on my TBR that are already out. So I'm going to find something to read. I do have one ARC that I think is for the 13th that I could start. So maybe I'll do that. But I'm going to read for a little bit. I think Brian is making dinner and then hopefully sometime later this evening I will get the motivation to finish up my TikToks for tomorrow so we can be ahead. But at least I'm my week is not looking too crazy because I already got my stuff for the last chapter done. I already have Tuesday and Saturday's video done, so I just need to get Thursday's video done sometime this week. So I'm feeling pretty good, pretty on top of it, not feeling too stressed. So I want to continue with this good energy into the work week. But for now, I'm gonna chill, read, enjoy the evening, and then I will hopefully finish up my TikToks at some point later. That's it for now. I will talk to you guys later. Like what you got, I'm making them summertime sick. Radio hits have you bounce with your friends like this hit the beach with the sun on your back and our tunes all lit grateful that this how you live time and money just to play it at a festival listen in the car at a party show your friends it's the best it is just before 11 o'clock and I am in bed for the night. Well, I've been in bed for a little bit, but I was trying to make a few of my TikToks for tomorrow and I pretty much got them all done. So that will make my Monday a lot easier and hopefully we can stay ahead on TikToks all week. I also started listening to a new audiobook, A Fair Catch by Candy Steiner. I've been wanting to read this series for a long time. So I started book one. Book three comes out later this month. So I finally started the series so I can read them all now and I'm so excited. I also started an ebook for your eyes only by T. Louise. She sent me an arc of this so I'm starting this as well and those are going to be kind of my two reads to start off the week. I'm going to try and finish them both tomorrow. We'll see if that happens. I definitely think I can do the audiobook 
but we'll see about the ebook as well. But like I said, I'm pretty ahead on YouTube stuff for the week, so I think I'll have more time to read, which will be so nice. And I really want to try and read one book a day for October, at least until I go to Love and Vegas at the end of the month, because I just have so many books that I want to read before then and so many arcs for this month. So I have a lot of reading to do. So I'm going to try and finish these both up tomorrow. But besides that, that's going to be it for my Sunday, for my weekend. It was a pretty good weekend. I definitely feel rested and not as tired as I did going into the weekend. And I feel like I also just got a good head start for the week and I'm not feeling too stressed about the work week, which is also very nice. So I'm going to read my ebook for just a few minutes and then head to bed so we can get a good night of sleep because we're waking up early tomorrow to head to the gym. That's going to be it for this weekend in my life vlog. I hope you enjoy seeing it, especially touring our first wedding venue. I'm definitely excited to tour a few more venues. I think we have a few more scheduled for this week or we're trying to schedule them. So I will definitely show you more as we go on, but that's going to be it for this weekend. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave any comments down below. That really supports my channel and helps my channel grow. And of course, if you're new, don't forget to stick around and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one.